Hey everyone, this is Jay. Uh, today I'm hunting a, uh, well I'm back at the old, uh, the old home site and I did some more research and found out that it's, uh, it was basically inhabited back in the eight, uh, 1800s. Um, I found, uh, uh, maps, uh, old maps, uh, Pomeroy, um, basically that puts the, the homestead, about 1861, so hopefully I can find some decent coin and some really cool relics from that era. Uh, today is March 1st, and we had a good thaw, and uh, some, some ground is still frozen, but it's definitely able to uh, get some good digs. Uh, you can see I'm in a sweatshirt, it's 40 degrees. Um, tomorrow they're predicting uh, about 12 inches of snow, so this might be the only day I can get out um, uh, this week and probably next weekend. So I'm going to do my best to uh, pull up some relics and maybe hopefully some coins, and hey, we'll just give it our best. Um, yeah, well, time to dig. Hey everyone, well, so I come back to the house site <clears throat> that I've been hunting the last couple times and tried a new area under some very old uh, crab apple trees. And I've been here probably about 10 minutes now, dug some old iron, but I just dug my first coin and uh, it come, uh, come in on the AT Pro at about a 50, which that's, you know, gold shotgun shell uh, brass. Um, you know, and when I dug this up, I actually thought it was a, uh, memorial scent, um, but at a 50 signal, that's kind of really weird. Usually memorial scents, zincs, Indians, coming at about, the, you know, between 65, you know, even up to 79. But as I was cleaning this one off, uh, and in fact, I wasn't even actually going to, uh, video this being a memorial scent, but I was cleaning it off, um... I actually think we got some silver. Um, I can't really tell what it is. Um, I see the, the, uh, the stars around it. And uh, clean this up a little bit more and see if I can get a date on it. Uh, it's old. I know that. It's very old. Um, it kind of looks like a barber. Let me take this off camera for just a second. 1884. Um, ah, that's what it is. It is a V nickel. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. Let me see if I can wipe it off a little bit. Oh, as soon as I've seen that V, that makes, oh, that's a good, good sign. Let's see if you can see it. I'll clean it up and show it in just a second. But I see the V. Sweet. 1884 V nickel. And there you have it. All right, I'm moving on. Hey everyone. <clears throat> well, it's been a day for first so far for me. Got the 1884 V nickel, and I got another first. I just dug this target and uh, moved down a hole. We got looks like a small crotobel. And that's what it is. Sweet. Very nice. Again, it's first one of these for me, too. I don't know. It, it's, this is just turning out to be a great, great hunt. Pull it still for you guys. Oh, I'm shaking. I love it. Alright, on the next. Well, folks, it's been a while, um, digging a lot of trash, but got a second coin for today. I just pulled it out of the hole. I don't even, I believe it's a, looks like a wheat penny. Let's take a look. And, no, looks like it's going to be a one-piece button. I think. I 
don't know if you can see it, but it has a great patina on it. Looks like it's going to be a flat button. Again, it's another first for me. If in fact it is a button, it looks like, like the shank's busted off. And there might be a design on it, but I don't, I don't want to rub it too much. But if that's in fact what it is, I'm happy with it. But uh, I'll clean it up and show it to you in a second. 